What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and today I'm back, finally, after a little mini vacation, went to Philly for the Eagles-Cowboys game, pretty fun, now we're here to talk about today, that we're here to talk about the NFL Predictors, a new little promo, I guess you can kind of call it, in Ultimate Team for the playoffs, pretty cool in my opinion, the, the rewards aren't insane, they're nothing crazy, you're not going to get make millions of coins or anything, but it's nice, and there's no reason not to participate, so uh, let's get into it, so NFL Predictors, is, as you guys can see right there, it says turn in NFL Predictor badges and get rewards from correct guesses of NFL results, launch week bonus, 16 of 16, or all of the correct picks, is worth 50,000 coins, so that's kind of nice, like I said though, 50,000 coins, nothing, you know, insane, you know, over, uh, you know, unreal or anything like that, but hey, it's a nice little bonus, and it's basically free to do this, it, it is free to do this, you just have to play a couple solo challenges, and then you put these badges in the set, so first up, these two ones right here, I'll show you guys the packs in just a second, or the packs you get from the solos, um, so if you want, if you, you know, get certain badges, if you get a bunch of false badges, and you want true badges, you can switch them up, you know, you don't need any extras, you basically literally just flop them, so if you have uh, too many trues or whatever, and you want extra falses, just go ahead and do that. Uh, I know it might be a little bit confusing, but we'll show you guys when I make my picks. So, um, actually, before we roll through them all, a lot of them are, you know, pretty simple. You know, like, it'll say, like, Texans win, and then you basically say true or false to it. So, let's get it. Actually, before I show you the, these packs, let me show you the solos real quick. Out of my mind right here, you know, a little bit rusty off that couple of day break. But let's see. Solo challenges, if you go to limited time, that's where they are. There's a couple new solos for it, and it's the NFL Predictor Playoff Wild Card. So, I'm assuming... They will do this throughout the playoffs, at least up until the Super Bowl, which is pretty nice. There's two solos. They actually are kind of tough. First one's pretty easy, in my opinion. You're only down 14, and it's on pro. But the next one, for some reason, was giving me fits. Aaron Rodgers is killing me, and uh, you're, like, down by 18 points, and you got to make a comeback on all pro and stuff. It probably isn't that hard for most people, but for some reason, I was having a lot of difficulty. And you get eight uh, predictor badges for each game, and also, I believe, some coins as well. So, no reason not to play them. Like I said, it's a free promo completely, at least so far. There's no, you know, packs in the store for it or anything like that. It's literally all solo challenge based. And you get these two packs, which give you eight predictor badges each. I suppose you could only play one solo if you wanted to, but there's no reason not to play both. So, get it done if you, you know, in my opinion, that's what you should do. So, obviously, like I said, you get true badges or false badges. Basically, you got to be aware of which ones you have. And, uh, like I said, you can just trade them in for, um, you know, like if I got too many false badges and I wanted an extra true i can just trade it in for a true badge i don't need like a silver badge to add to it or anything like that it's literally just a one for one swap pretty nice so now let's get into the fun part and see exactly what i will pick and uh, of course let me know what you guys are picking in the comments down below so first one up texans win basically what you're going to do in this one is if you think the texans are going to win you're going to put a true in this badge um and if you think that the raiders are going to win you will put a false in this badge so i'm going to put a true uh, in this one because obviously it says Texans win. I do think the Texans are going to win. I believe, you know, the, the Raiders just really fell on hard luck with Derek Carr, uh, you know, breaking his ankle or breaking his leg or whatever exactly happened. And I just think that's really unfortunate. And the Texans are at home, so I'm going to go true. Be really careful with what you do here because obviously they're both they're both in your binder, so you never really know exactly which one you're going to put in. So I'm going to put the true badge in there, and let's see what I get out of this one. Actually, no award out of this, so I guess it basically... Um, you know, it, it figures into it once the game is actually over. Also, these sets lock um, Saturday, January 7th, uh, which is obviously the day of the game at noon. I'm not sure if that goes for every single game. Let's see real quick. Uh, maybe they don't. Actually, yeah, every single set, regardless of what day it is, actually... The Sunday games lock on Sunday, but the Saturday games lock at noon on Saturday, and the Sunday games lock on Sunday at noon. So pretty simple. Just get them done before that. You should have more than enough time. So that's the first one. Texans win. I put the true badge in there because I think they are going to win. Next one up, Amari Cooper has 100 or more receiving yards. That is kind of a tough one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not entirely sure. I know Connor Cook is, you know, uh, toting the rock for him today, or not today, but the, this, this weekend. So I'm not too confident in him, but Cooper is definitely their best option. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say false because I think the Texans defense is pretty darn good. And Connor Cook is just going to have a tough day out there. Uh, so I'm going to put false in that one. I do not think Amari Cooper will get 100 yards. That is what we're going to throw in that one. And, of course, you get coins for either, um, you know, even if they don't, uh, even if you pick, you know, falsely or whatever you guys can see right there. It says picking true correctly is worth 1,000 coins and picking false is worth 250. So either way, you're making some coins off these. Not too bad. Next one up. Khalil Mack has one or more sacks and a correct pick is worth 750. Uh, it doesn't say what a you know, false pick is worth, but I don't know, whatever. Um, actually, I have no idea, so, so whatever. Uh, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so um, Amari Cooper has 100 plus receiving yards. For one like this, where um, you know it's either way, but it's probably more likely that he doesn't get 100 yards. Picking true, you know, picking the the more, uh, more unlikely option gets you a higher reward. Whereas picking false 
um, you know, if it's correct, you only get 250. So me picking false, I'm only going to get 250 coins if that's true. But I also put myself in line for that possible 50,000 coin reward if I were to get every single pick right. So that's something to be aware of. Maybe you want to go big on some of these. Um, you know, I don't know what, what you guys want to do. But Kalumak has one or more sacks. I think that is pretty much a lock. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to say true for that one. Kalumak's absolute beast. And I feel like he's going to be trying to ball out, trying to make sure that he's making some plays and seeing if he can keep the Raiders in this one single-handedly. And um, I think he's going to get a sack. And then the final one for this game is Lamar Miller has 100-plus rushing yards. So picking true for this, um, you know, saying that he's going to get 100 rushing yards or more is worth 1,000 coins. And saying that he's going to get less than 100 yards is only worth 250. I'm going to say true for this one. Lamar Miller, especially with uh, Brock Osweiler in there, of course, the, the Texans quarterback situation is pretty bad right now. Uh, Lamar Miller will definitely be relied on a lot, in my opinion, and I'm going to go true for that one and hopefully bring myself a 1,000 coins on that one. But like I said, obviously, a lot of these aren't great corner rewards, but in the end, you know, there's 16 of these things, so it can kind of build up. You might be able to make like 20K this weekend, and hey, if you're lucky, and get all 16, you get a nice 50K bonus. Now, Lions at Seahawks it is Seahawks win. Picking true is worth 750 and uh, picking false if you get it correct, uh, i.e. you pick the Lions to win, you get a 1,000 coins. I'm going to pick true Seahawks. I think really don't have too much difficulty here. They're at home. They have a great home field advantage. And uh, the Lions just have really struggled lately, uh, you know, kind of back their way into the playoffs. So I think the Seahawks take that one for sure. Next one up, Matt Stafford has 250 more passing yards. That one is pretty tough in my opinion. The Seahawks secondary and their defense in general is very good, but they're a little bit worse without Earl Thomas now. And the Lions offense is clearly based on their passing game. Matt Stafford will have to have a great game if they want to stay into it. So I'm going to say true, but I really don't love the pick. I think this is one of the harder ones to pick, honestly. Um... Definitely a tough one for me. I could see either way. I could see him getting like 245 passing yards and falling just short. But I think he's going to get at least 200. So hopefully he can get that extra 50 for me. Next one up, Russell Wilson has two or more passing touchdowns. Um, this one, another tough one. I'm going to say no. Personally, um, I don't really think that's you know entirely what their offense is based on. I think their offense is based on Russell, but not necessarily him throwing touchdowns. So um, I don't know. A correct false is only worth 250, though. Whereas picking true is worth a thousand, you know, I actually think I'm going to go true on this one because like I said, I think I could go either way and that higher reward is kind of worth it to me. Now here's a situation that I'm going to run into. I have no more true badges, so if I need any more, I'll show you guys me doing that set. Now Richard Sherman has one plus interceptions. This one is real tough. Picking true is worth 2,000. Picking, uh, you know, a correct false is worth 500. So obviously picking true is probably... A better option but I'm gonna go false I don't I think interceptions are really kind of random um, you know not saying Sherman is gonna have a bad game or anything like that but it's you know completely happenstance completely luck in my opinion not complete luck but you know a little bit of luck you know Stafford has to throw the ball his way maybe he just avoids him the whole game and he doesn't get any chances so I'm gonna go false on that one next one up Steelers win I'm definitely gonna go true on this one uh, so I'll probably save my badges until the end and do that. Uh, no doubt, I think the Steelers are going to beat the Dolphins on Sunday for sure. Jarvis Landry has seven or more receptions. Not really sure, honestly. I don't really know. Uh, Matt Moore's in the lineup for him. I'm going to say no. I, I think they might just get completely shut down. I think they might lose by a ton. We'll see. I'm going to go false. That one is definitely a hard one to go by, though. Uh, next one up, Le'Veon Bell has 100 plus rushing yards. I think this is a stone called lock. I think it's definitely going to be true. Uh, we'll see. I mean, the Dolphins have a pretty good defense, but Le'Veon Bell is probably the best running back in the entire NFL. So I'm going to go true on that one as well. And then Antonio Brown has one or more receiving touchdowns. I think this is also kind of a stone called lock. Antonio Brown is quite possibly the best receiver in the NFL. Maybe just behind Odell Beckham, but either way, great receiver. And he almost always comes through. Uh, with touchdowns, so I'm going to go true on that one as well. Next one up, Packers winning against the Giants. I think this is definitely the most intriguing game of um, you know the weekend, and I think I personally think the Packers are going to win it. Aaron Rodgers at home, really a great player, but the Giants' defense is absolutely nasty, and Eli Manning just has a flair for the dramatic in the playoffs for some reason. So I think the Packers are going to win, so I'll go true on that one. Next one up, Aaron Rodgers has three or more passing touchdowns. That is really tough to me. I, like I said, the Giants have an amazing defense, um, but I think I'm probably going to go true on it just because Aaron Rodgers, if they're going to win, if the Packers are going to win, Rodgers is going to have to have a great game, so I'll probably go true on that one as well. Actually, I don't even know here. I, uh, I'm going back and forth here. I'm going to go false, actually. I, I know I just made a whole argument for why you, uh, you know I was going to go true, but I'm going to go false out of nowhere. I'm just going to lock it in with the false pick there. Um, you know, We'll see. I, I don't know. Uh, like I said about a few of these, that one is really, really tough. And that's kind of the point of these. There's no, you know, obvious ones in my opinion. There are definitely a lot of ones that are like, eh, you can go either way. So next one up, Elon Manning has 250 or more passing yards. 
I'm probably going to end up going true on this because similar to Matt Stafford and the Lions, if the Giants are going to stay in this one, they're going to have to have a pretty big game from Eli. Not a huge game or anything, but you know he's going to be throwing the ball a lot. They don't have a great run game, so I'll probably go with uh, true on that one as well. And then the final one, Odo Beckham has one or more receiving touchdowns. If they're going to have any hope in this game, he's going to have to have at least one, maybe even two. So I think true on this one is one of the better choices. So I'm honestly going true on a lot of these. I left a bunch of these open to go true on all the badges I have left. I want to swap to true. So basically, I go into this set, bad swap, false to true. And basically, I'll be putting in a bunch of these, and I'll be rewarded with a true badge on top of that one. So uh, that is that. I think it's a pretty decent uh, promo. I think it's a cool idea, honestly. It's basically like the coin-ups from uh, you know previous years. I hope they continue to do this into next season, you know, in the regular season also. It's kind of fun. Maybe not with as many per week, but maybe a few per week. You know, it's kind of fun to just do... You know, like I said before, the corner wards aren't insane. They're nothing crazy. You're not going to get, you know, something insane. You're not going to get a million coins out of this promo. But, you know, over time, you know, this is how many weeks of the, uh, in the NFL playoffs? Four, I believe, right? So that's, you know, pretty good. You can get some good coins. And hopefully, like I said, they do this for the Super Bowl as well with maybe a lot of prop bets. I know a lot of people at Super Bowl parties will do a bunch of prop bets and things like that. That is uh, definitely kind of fun to do. And it could be very interesting to see them do it um, in Ultimate Team as well. So that will do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And let me know, of course, what are your picks? Did you agree with mine? Did you disagree with mine? What do you think in the comments down below? And also, what do you think of the promo in general? I know, like I said, a lot of people on Twitter were hating about, you know, the corner words are terrible and stuff like that. But... I mean, like I said, this promo is completely free to participate. There's no pay to play or anything like that. You don't have to buy a bundle or anything. So I think it's a pretty good idea, and I you know, look forward to it uh, throughout the playoffs. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.